So for today, we have total body stability 11. All right, for total body stability 11, I have some dumbbells, all right, here. I also have some sliders. They are not necessary. Um, however, they would be good for you to have. Just a moment. Yes, so anyway, total body stability 11, dumbbells, possibly sliders if you have them, okay? Or socks on hardwood floor or books on carpet, that'll work. I also have a basketball. Um, we're gonna do something with this. If you have a ball or something that you could just put in your hand to move to the other side, like a sock or a water bottle or a, a tennis ball, something like that, that's fine too, okay? Just something that you can move from your hand. And then a stability ball if you have it as well, okay? So really, nothing today is required, but it would be very useful to have dumbbells on hand, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're just gonna go right into opening up those shoulders because we're just gonna do a quick warm up and then get right into it because we got stuff to do today. All right. Warm up these arms because mine are a little sore. <laughs> a little sore. So these exercises you'll see today are same, similar exercises that we've been doing throughout our program. Again, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the uh, modification, the regular, and the progression. It's up to you to go ahead and challenge yourself the best way you know how to, okay? Um, if you put in, you know, average effort, you're gonna get average results. If you put in that max effort, you're gonna get max results. Just remember that, okay? Good. All right, so we're gonna go right into 25 push-ups. All right, so you can either do the loaded beast to push up for 25, and those are for my advanced folks, um, or if you'd like to just stick with regular push-ups, totally go down and hit a regular push-up for 25 of these, okay? If we're doing those loaded beasts, push back, keep those shins parallel to the floor, and then uh, come back in to push up, all right? Remember to not let your neck do any of the movement here, okay? You gotta take your head and look up, your gaze up to keep your up your neck in line with the rest of your body on your push-ups, and that's what you do. If you need to modify, you have that modification too. And remember, if you just wanna do the regular push-ups for 25, you also have that as well. I was just talking, I don't know how many I got, but keep going. I'll check you guys' form out. Here we go, Winston. There you go. Get them done. Good job, guys. two rounds and then switch it up to our first circuit. Single leg lifts um, with a six inch hover on the opposite leg for 20. Cross body climbers, that's where we will potentially need these sliders in there for 20. Stability ball transfers for 20 or we can do V-ups. And then the last one we have is a uh, basketball full crunch with a switch. So we're here, everything out, full crunch, switch, back down, full crunch, switch back down so it doesn't have to be a basketball but whatever it's going to be make sure you have something that you can put in your hand okay so that's going to be it for that uh single leg lift we'll go ahead and start right into that one all right we have 20 reps left leg is hovered out right leg is up i'm gonna put my hands in the small of my back this is our start start position down and up for 20 let's go three keep the low back flat Make sure you're breathing and make sure to pull that belly button into your spine the whole time. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Warming up these hips, 13, because we got some hip stuff to do today. 15, 16, low back stays flat to the ground. 18, 19, 20, go ahead and scissor switch, down and up. 
Well, this is getting a good old stretch for that hamstring, too. So you what, them things got worked out this week. Good job, guys. We're getting things moving this morning, this afternoon, evening, whatever time it is that you're getting us in. Good. Finish. Guess you guys were waiting on me. Good job, guys. After your 20, we got crossbody climbers. All right, so the crossbody climbers are, I'm going to show you with my sliders here. I'm going to come out in a regular plank. I'm going to bring one, one leg up, and that hip is turning in. Back down, slide, climb to the opposite side. If you don't have sliders, that's fine. This is your move. We have 20 total. Go ahead and go. Push up through those shoulders, right? Alternate sides. It's not straight up. It's cross your body, cross the body. Whoop. Keep your foot in the middle so that slider won't knock out from the other side. 20 total. And then we're going to go into stability ball transfers next. A little abs, we're warming up today. All right, here we go. Stability ball transfers, legs stay out, come up, grab the ball, and we're going right here. There you go. If you don't have that ball, remember, we can just do regular V ups right here. Here we go with 20 total moves. Oh, what you're trying to do here, we're getting up and we're going. Summer is here. Time to show off those abs. Oh, good. Once you get your 20, we're moving right on to our basketball full crunch. All right. Similar movement, but we got a little bit more hip flexors that we're going to be able to use here. All right. Right into it. Good job, guys. Way to stay up. Way to stay on track. Everything out. That ball's over your head. We're coming up. Crunching around and around. Whoop. <laughs> Don't lose the ball. <laughs> there we go. We got 20. Good. Let me check you guys out. Those look good. All the way up and around. Way to improvise, guys. Got some coasters. Good, got a pillow. The pillow should be going underneath your legs though, Winston. Oh, never mind, you're doing V-ups, I see. <laughs> Come on, we're there. Up over the head and then back around. 20 is the number here. I'm gonna get my full 20 in here and then we'll start back at the top. Good. We started right into this one, guys, good job. Finish out, finish out. Good deal. If you need to flip that over, good time for a cobra stretch. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We're going in 20 seconds. Last round. Yeah, say hello to those abs. Say hello, say hello. Single leg lift, cross body climbers, stability ball transfers, or V ups. And then we have our full crutch with the basketball switch. Going in 10 seconds. We'll start out with those single leg lifts. Make sure you start with that opposite side. That side started first. Starts last this time. Ready? Let's go. Down and up. 20. Pull it down, pull it up. Pull it down, pull it up. No time to play with these hips. Come on. Keep the low back flat, halfway. Good 
finish few, finish few, 18, 19, bam, scissor switch, let's go, off to the side, one, two, three, you gotta keep that low back flat to bring, you gotta bring those shoulders off to help you keep it flat, that's fine too, all right. Tension, pull it out, push it down. Try to keep that opposite leg hovered in the floor. If you can't, you need to put that foot down on the ground, that's okay right there. Finish out, three, two, one. Good job, guys. We're in the crossbody climbers. Go ahead and get those sliders. Remember, keep those feet right in the middle of those sliders, all right? Balls of your feet right in the middle of your sliders. Make sure your toes stay back away from the edge so you don't lose it, right? We're in that plank position. Let's get 20. Cross body mountain climbs. Cross body climbers. Six, eight, hips twist. 12, 14, 16, whoop, 18, bam. Good job. We're back on our back with transfers or V ups. Both of them hurt. <laughs> oh. Keep it going, guys. Just check. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Good job. Transfers, here we go. Up and over. 20 is the number. All the way down, all the way up. You gotta bring those knees in. That's okay. guys. Hmm, not supposed to be easy. Ooh, a few months into this. Come on. Couple more, couple more. Finish strong. Finish strong. Ah, that was more so for me than for you. Because y'all already done. Good job, guys. Grab water if you need it. Grab a towel if you need it. We're moving on. Mm -hmm. We're going right into stationary side lunges. Kneeling leg extensions. Oh, this is a good one. This is a new one. And then tuck jumps. I'm going to do my tuck jumps over here off my Airx pad because it's a little quieter. All right. So here we go. Stationary side lunges. If you know what we're doing, let's go ahead and get on it. Make sure those legs are wide. Turn that opposite leg. The toe up, up and out, and then sit it down. Come back up, same side, on down, push back up. I want y'all to have weight here. I want us to have weight here. All right, down and up. It's okay if you hear them knees cracking, as long as they don't hurt. All right, we're going 12 on this side, 12 on the opposite side. Make sure that that butt is getting down to the heel. All right, so the Achilles, good. Good, Sue. Push it back up. Come on, Winston. Or maybe you're frozen. I don't know what's going on. Keep it going, guys. Good, once you get your 12 opposite side, let me show you profile side view. If you're needing something to hold on to, I can show you how to hold on to it with your couch. 
You're going to split that difference right there. My hands are in front of me. As I come down, I'm holding onto the couch. And then I'm going to push back up. Hold on to that couch. Push back up. All right? Right there. Good. Go ahead and finish out your 12. And then we're going to be on the floor kneeling leg extensions. All right? <clears throat> kneeling leg extensions profile view. Yeah, this is a circuit superset. We're going right into it. Minimal rest, just the rest you need in order to see what we're doing. All right, so here we are. Toes are dug into the floor. Knees are down. The hips, we're going to get rid of this arch by tucking our hips under, okay? Tuck the hips under, squeeze the glutes, then push the glutes forward. As you're pushing the glutes forward, you're gonna lean backward. I like to keep my hands out in front, Boop. pull back up. Here we go, we're going for 12. Keep those hips forward, get back to your heels as close as possible. The butt can come into the heels. That's what we're looking for. All right, 12 is the number. Here we go, make sure you keep those knees planted to the ground the whole time you're doing this. Kneeling leg extensions right here. Yeah, you should fill out all in here. All right, so keep your hips forward. As you start, push the hips forward. There you go, much better. Good. As soon as you're up, you're back down. Good job, guys. Good. Finish 12. Finish out, hips stay forward. Push. Good. 12 tuck jumps right to the side. I'm gonna add out a little extra bounce on there. Welcome back. <laughs> add in a little extra bounce on there on the tuck jumps. Up, 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 four, five, woohoo. Seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, eleven, twelve. Eric's trying to make it a little bit more challenging. Whew. But that's the circuit. That's it. That's all we got. We're going to run that back over. We got 30 seconds. We'll run that back to the top. Stationary side lunge. Run that one back to the top. 20 seconds. Good work, guys. Again, add weight on that stationary side lunge. Again, if you need help, having yourself a couch, a chair, a column to hold, something that you can grab onto, a door frame, uh, all of those will look good. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Stationary side lunge. Uh, opposite foot comes out. Sit straight down. Pop back up. There we go. Remember, we got 12 all the way over, all the way down. How oh, is somebody else listening to my Pandora account? <laughs> that makes no sense. Keep it going. Oh, 12. Oop. Opposite side. Get your 12, guys. Good job. Gotta fix that. Good. Kneeling leg extension on the 12. Oh, way to go. Way to go, guys. Let's just get it done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Kneeling leg extensions. Remember, don't untuck the toes. Keep the toes in the ground. We got to save the knees. All right. Keep the knees safe. 
This is applying too much force on some knee ligaments. We don't need that. That's why we're gonna kick them up. Hips forward, lean it back, pull it up. I'm telling y'all, yeah, somebody's gonna cramp up today. <laughs> Come on, it might be me. <laughs> These are good. Come on, five, we got 12. Keep the hips forward, six, Come on, halfway. Seven, hips stay up. Woo! Eight. Good, Kayla. Nine. Good. Finish two, we got tough joints after this. Good. Oh, good. All that right there. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Here we go, get your tuck jumps in for 12. Gotta concentrate. Knees up, toes up. Oh, yeah. Grab water, guys. Grab water. We got one more. One more little circuit. All right. A circuit here. Squat the front raise. Man makers. Woo! All right, 12 squat the front raise. Six man makers, all right? That's what we got. By this time in the program, y'all should know what we're talking about on these man makers. If you don't know worries, I'll show you again. Um, squat to front raise. Remember, as you're squatting, you're going to front raise. Bam, bam, 12, let's go. Get it. Sit it all the way down, try not to swing the weights as they come back to reset. Keep the heels down, keep the toes down. Whew. How are you in my playlist? Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Man makers, let's get our six in. Here we go, down, kick back, push up, row, row. Squat curl press. Six. Remember, if you need to modify, you have an option. You're switching arms on the row. Oh, I'm not gonna talk these last two. Whew. Yeah. Oh. Sweat's real. Grab water. Thirty seconds. Outside of your feet. Heels down, weight to the outside of your feet. Feet are even, that's important. Sit it down, pull it up. 12. Knees fly away from each other, they should not be coming in like that. That is not a right squat, guys. You gotta push out. 
You gotta push out. Out on your knees when you go down, out on your knees when you come up. Strong legs. Finish 12. Get your 12. Woo! Get your 12. Good, Kayla. Good depth, Sue. Good job, Winston. Good job, guys. Last round. Last little bit. Last little bit we got here. Man makers. Let's get busy, guys. Come on, six and we're done. Six and we're done. Those elbows gotta get past your torso too, guys. Finish up. Whew. What an upper body circuit. Oh yeah. Sweat's real. Good job, guys. Good work today. Definitely had our strength component that we saw today. All right, so you might not have felt, or your watch might not say, you burned a lot of calories today, but trust and believe, you will be these next 36 to 48 hours. So enjoy that, enjoy that, enjoy that. We're gonna finish out with a cool little stretch. And fat five, fat five, hamstring stretch. Focus on getting that breath back in order. Big deep breath through the nose and let it out through the mouth. Roll those shoulders back, heart to sky, big deep breath in and bend forward from your waist. Good stretch. Try to bring your heart to sky, Sue. So you can stay down in there, but I just want you to lift your chest up. There you go. Good, come on back. Figure four, piriformis. Wrap it, scoot it. Sit it up nice and tall. Big deep breath in. Let it out and push away, push away, push away. That right knee, push that right knee away from the body. Good deep stretch in that hip flexor. Let me see that hip complex. And let it out, let it go, opposite side. I'm sweating, yeah. <laughs> Good work, guys. Thanks for logging on with me today. You guys definitely are a push, especially in times when we don't want to get up and do anything. I love that you guys showed up for me. And for you, of course, but for me too. <laughs> Appreciate you. All right, come on out of that quad stretch number three of five. Grab it, roll it on down, that hip bone into the floor. Good, big deep breath in. Let it out and pull that foot up into the butt. Good, let that go. We'll switch the side, switch it on out. Big deep breath in. Let it out and pull that butt in. Excuse me, that foot into the butt. <laughs> Good, let that go. Elbows underneath the shoulders for number four. And we're gonna push on up. Oh, that's a nice little good little stretch right in there. Got a little, little sore right there, huh? Good. Come on down out of that, push back into child's pose. 